Haha, -ha, Sarah, finally got my Bamboo Create. And because I didn't want to struggle, or have you watch me struggle opening a box, I already took out the little seals. So let's see what this baby has inside. Super excited. Super. You're always so excited. Of course I'm excited. Look at this. It has a nice welcome to your bamboo experience. Discover, share, and let us know how it goes. I just noticed I'm not wearing my retainer. So, look at the nice pen. Comes inside of plastic. Ooh. Look at that. It has two buttons. The eraser. And the little tip. I don't even know if this is in focus. Let's grab the tablet so you can see in contrast. This is going to be the most amazing. Can't even see shit. Um, yeah, so that's the pen. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, I always make r unwrapping presents or orders. <laughs> No, I never do things like this. But, what the hell, what is this, childproof? Okay, so the tablet. It has some weird packaging on this other side too. Oh, it's just the protect buttons, I guess. So that's the tablet. This is my hand. Everything here is like secret. Um, hmm. So the writing area seems to go from here to here, all the way till here, which I don't understand why we have this stupid white space, but I'm not gonna complain. Then we have, it seems like six buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it says bamboo. Little USB. The cord is super short. I think I'm going to be screwed. I'm not going to be able to do anything with this. It will never reach my computer on the floor. I think we have extension. And then we got... I believe these are pen tips and the ring. Don't know what the ring is for. And then some beautiful... This is probably the installation CDs. Yes. Ooh, install. Huh? Yeah, I already installed the drivers for the older one. So there we go. Instructional CD. I mean, uh, guide. Bamboo Create, Pen and Touch, Software Bundle Ensemble. It brings Adobe Photoshop Elements for Windows and Mac, Corel Painter Essentials, Nick Color, Autodesk, Sketchbook Express, and 26 craft lessons. I'm gonna learn! Anyways, then just coupons for crap, a free photo book, $29 value. Shop Seller Create, more coupons. And, oh my god, I think this is the best part. A free one-year subscription to scrapbooking! Who doesn't love scrapbooking? I'm kidding, I don't think I'll ever use this in my life. Because once they get my name, then they'll offer to send things for free. And I have enough trash. So, that's it. It's an empty box. Very well, the nice packaging. So now it's time to. So now time to install. Everybody feels the need to talk when I'm recording. Mom. It's okay. I'm just kidding. And now I'm going to install this. Okay. So after setting up the tablet, the software was pretty easy to install. It was just inserting a CD, and um, I did have some trouble with 
the pressure sensitivity, but I will actually show how to fix that in case anybody else has questions. The drawing area for the tablet is basically from this edge of the paper to the edge that I've drawn there. If you notice, it's pretty big. It's like the size of a hand. You also have the size in inches on the website, but um, I just wanted to give you kind of a visual of how big it is compared to a hand and a pen. So if you see more or less, it's almost like the pen, a little bit more than the pen, or, uh, diagonally. When I was drawing, I actually felt like the surface felt rough, and I had read on um, Amazon reviews that the surface was rough when sketching or dragging the mouse. One of the things that I noticed about that is that after I wiped it with just a nice napkin or a paper towel, I didn't feel that granulated, it didn't have that granulated feel anymore. So I think it's just, the tablet is so smooth that it grabbed some impurities and when you're drawing you can feel everything, which gave that sandpaper feel. After cleaning it up, no problem. The drag feels very smooth and even the eraser, no problem, no need to push hard or anything. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the size and uh, I've been kind of just sketching here and there just to get used to it. The four buttons over here, plus these two, six total, are customizable. You can see that the light changes color when there's contact of the pen. Uh, right now I still have the default button values which allows you to turn on or off the touch with your fingers. I'm not sure if this is part of all of the um, tablets, if they're all, because you can scroll around as if it was a giant or trackpad, whatever they call it. But um, it's pretty good because it allows us to zoom in or zoom out, rotate things in appropriate screens. You can also use this for left click, right click, so that if you're using the pen, you can double click like that to open. But anyways, I'm going to just show now how to um, set pressure sensitivity since I did probably take a good 20 to 30 minutes to find out how this, why this didn't work, especially on the program SAI. So one of the problems that I was having inside was pressure sensitivity. If you notice, even though I'm lightly pressing, it's just making the ball, it's just making the lines the same width as my cursor, if you notice that circle over there. Um, one of the problems that could correct this would be this right here, minimum size, 100%. If you leave it, leave it at 100, then you can, as you see, it will, depending how much pressure you put on it, it will make a line that thick. On Photoshop, I, was, I wasn't having that problem from the beginning. And um, even though I had these settings correctly, the problem was actually, I had to go to the Start button, also keep in mind I'm using Windows 7. Then to the folder Bamboo, Bamboo Preference File Utility, and then I had to click Remove, and after clicking Remove and saying Yes, I had to open it again and click Remove All User Preferences. After removing all of your user preferences, you can go here back to Bamboo Preferences, and um, you can set your pen, touch, uh, your pen settings, the firmer, means that the more sensitive it is to pressure. If it's soft, um, it will be almost always like if you were pressing really hard. The thing I really liked that I didn't know about was pen mapping, and my older tablet didn't allow me to do that. Since I have two screens, it allows me to actually do either all screens, which means this half of the tablet is this screen and this other half is the second screen. I just want it to be the first monitor, because this is where I have better quality monitor. This one has very low light and it's just a boring monitor I have usually to follow tutorials or to browse the internet while I'm doing other things on the main one because you know I don't need more distractions I just need another monitor and um, that's it when you come back to Sai you would need to restart both SAI and Photoshop and now the pressure sensitivity should work just like displayed here so that was it other than that little annoyance of the pressure sensitivity not working, I think the Bamboo Tablet Create is pretty cool. And also, if you feel like when you're drawing the surface feels like 
sandpaper, I would just wipe it with a napkin and that should solve the problem. It did for me at least.